got another question on the carbonyl compounds topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to do it first. Okay so we'll start with the mechanism so the first thing we need to do is write the equation for the reaction between these two concentrated acids. The reason for that reaction is to generate the electrophile this nitronium ion and the rest of the equation balances like that. Next thing to happen is we bring the electrophile and the benzaldehyde in this case together and we take a pair of electrons so a curly arrow from the delocalized ring of pi electrons comes out to the electrophile. We're told we need to make three nitrobenzaldehyde so the intermediate will look like that and the next thing that happens is a pair of electrons from this CH bond goes back to reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons. So there's our organic product, H plus ion as well from the loss of this H here. And the last thing we need to do is show the um, role of the sulfuric acid as a catalyst, so we have to reform it. So we take the HSO4 minus ion that was formed in the first step, the H plus ion that's just been um, removed from the ring, and we get the sulfuric acid back. Part B now, so when benzaldehyde is reacted with potassium hydroxide, we're told it's both oxidized and reduced to form two organic products. So we've just got to think about what happens to this aldehyde group. Um, so when it's oxidized, it's going to become a carboxylic acid. And when it's reduced, it's going to become a primary alcohol. So following that logic gets us these two products here. However, we've got potassium ions from the KOH. So instead of getting the benzoic acid, this H plus would be uh, replaced by a K plus ion. So we actually get the potassium salt of the benzoic acid. So for the next part, what I've done is I've copied out the information that's given above, because obviously we've got to apply this to these three chemicals here when reacted with excess benzaldehyde. So the easiest thing to do, I think, is just to turn, obviously that needs to get turned into benzaldehyde. This needs to get turned into that. So you can see hopefully now that the organic product is just going to be that. So applying the same logic, the second one is going to look like that. So that's the organic product they'll be after. Now the third one, this is where we've got to bear in mind that we've got excess benzaldehyde because if you think about the structure of propanone, you've actually got this feature that's reacting at either end of the molecule. So the organic product is going to look like that. Moving on to this unfamiliar mechanism for part D. So obviously we're going to need a dipole on the carbonyl bond. So a pair of electrons are going to come from the minus sign to that slightly positive carbon and that's going to repel the pi electron pair in the double bond completely onto the oxygen. So the upshot of that is to generate this intermediate and then we've got a mixture of acid and H2O so that's obviously going to turn this part into an OH group. So the organic product looks like that. The final part of the question, so the alkyl lithium compound that's going to be needed to basically provide this alkyl group is going to be this here. 